Okay, so this one's probably going to be uh, a bit shorter, Governor, because I reckon it's time for a cup of tea. And uh, to reform the mentality that we have been led to believe in, that is reality, and that's that is what's changing and shifting. And uh, anytime you come across stuff like this, um, anytime you come across um, people who solely want to focus on the bad, even if it's uh, in a place where they they think that they are helping you by by telling you this stuff, but like. You can obviously tell that they are so caught up within the negative aspects. They are so caught up within the bad all around them that it has consumed them. And so that's that's their reality. And so when, whenever this happens, this is as within, so without, you, you are going to become it and you, you create and manifest it. Uh... So yes, zigzag. This is uh, this is for you basically because I I wouldn't have watched this if it wasn't for you. Um, and also, I just wanted to say like I I've had a lot of appreciations lately, which um, things that I wouldn't have uh, put as much focus upon um, intently uh, if it wasn't for another bringing about um, either uh, a question or or something. So, uh, thank you, because this is a, uh, a refining here, so this is helping me refine, um, but, uh, this is the last video that I will watch of, of this guy, um, if, if you all out there, uh, you know, get something from him, then, then that's great, like, uh, go go to towards what speaks to you, what inspires you. So I'm not I'm not telling you don't don't watch anything from this guy. I'm just speaking from my personal vantage point and perspective, which is uh, this guy's caught in the mud and uh, he's flinging a lot of mud out there, and uh, not a whole lot of. To me, it's not inspiring, and that's not just simply to come from a uh, love and light, you know, uh, perspective. Because you have to integrate all all of the hues, all of the colors. You have to integrate the darkness. You have to be willing to go into the darkness, which is uh, which is this is just um, a part of the process here. With, with this guy, you see how dark and and corrupted things are. But uh, once once you get caught, so once you allow that corruption inside of you, then it starts to fester. And this this is uh, if if you want to see what happens whenever you're trying to wake up and you're consistently engaging the the corruption and festering inside of yourself and allowing it inside uh i i watched all i could of this uh which which was i don't know the first third or so of it um, it's just, it's just depressing to me to, uh, see someone who, uh, wants to speak on all the bad shit that's happening, and that, uh, basically, what, let's see, what the fuck is the title of this shit, like, uh, I don't fucking know, what does that say? Yeah, so, there you go. 
but basically he thinks it's all dismal and there's no hope for humanity and he doesn't see a way out or any potentiality. At least that's what this video is about. And uh, Hope is a thing, let's see if I can remember. Okay. Remember something I, I, I have told people in the past. Hope is a lot like clarity. If you have a clear vision, if you're able to see clearly, um, purely, if you're able to feel purely with your desire and your intent and you can have have hope for the good to manifest but you do not want to stay stuck in this wishing mentality and stuck in the uh, praying mentality Because we have to integrate, we have to shift our focus into a knowingness. So uh, hope has its place, it has its purpose, but it must be transformed into actuality, into... We have to allow our yearning for hope to manifest and whenever whenever it does whenever a pathway opens up that's that's uh what we hoped for but a lot of times you know people get so caught up in the wishing and, and the not responding to the answer that has been given to them. Uh, they, it's it's a perspective and perception. So whenever the blinders are still on, we don't, people don't see what is, what is being, what is right in front of their fucking faces. And yes, it does seem, dismal and hopeless at times whenever we see the state of the world whenever we really start to open up to how just how corrupted and dark the state of the world is and this is this has many layers and levels and whenever you really touch upon like the the, the deepest of the corruption um, if you're not ready to see that and then to integrate it uh, that that can make you succumb completely. So uh, this is why I'm all about empowering yourself, strengthening yourself, realizing what you are as a goddamn human being, realizing what you do in every moment, with every thought that you have. cultivating this level of awareness and a dedication towards this. It's going to help you transcend this darkness because yes, you do have to go into the darkness. You do have to see it. Otherwise, we're just going to keep on repeating this fucking rise and fall bullshit. But to sit there and say over and over again that it's hopeless, that you don't see any good in humanity, that uh, the good that you do see, oh, it's not enough. Oh, there's not enough people. Oh, oh, all of them are just, you know, uh, looking at the screens and they're not doing anything. How the fuck do you know that? You don't, you don't fucking know what other people are doing. You're on the outside looking in. Like I said in my previous one, this motherfucker's on the outside looking in and wanting to act like he's on the inside. 
This guy's not on the fucking inside. And he doesn't want to go on the inside. Because then he'll have to really face the fucking darkness. And he doesn't want to fucking do that. This is what this guy does with the darkness. He screams at it. He projects his own darkness at the darkness. You can't do that. Because that's not how you transmute it. That's not how you integrate it. Eventually, you're going to become that fucking darkness by doing that. By consistently mirroring it back, you're going to forget what you are and think that you are the projection. That's that's the fast track of what this guy's on right now. I, I like to, I like to try to think optimistically in some shape or form, but I can't I can't you can't I really can't see any level of optimism in relation to the human race being remotely free. I can only see a, a level of optimism that is going to continue to be smooth if it's absolutely controlled. And people are forced onto treadmills and they're, 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 they're forced into um, doing something that activates the body, energizes the body, exercises the body. You know, like... Well, this is, this is the system. And like, this is what I'm saying here. Like, this is uh, someone who's talking and not realizing the setup. So they're looking for a way out, not realizing... That they have been in a trap. Uh, I mean, I mean, they they see the trap on some levels, but they don't realize. The origin of it. Uh, the intent, why it was set up in the first place. So, like, you can never, ever find your way out of any kind of trap if... If you can't see beyond the trap, beyond the box, beyond the mentality. So, uh, once the mentality is, once enough people shift their mentality, enough people will be able to catch on to what is truly real and direct how to engage this again. So uh, I definitely agree that uh, he talked about America being on, on the dead end path now, essentially. And uh, the mentality of the American dream um, has fallen so uh, but but that that was the whole point, anyways, because the whole the whole system and setup is just it, it keeps revamping itself and recreating itself. So America is just another form of of Rome, which is just another form of Egypt. So if you don't realize what's happening here throughout time. then you can't free yourself of this cycle. It's, it's an occulted awareness um, through the act of Siphoning knowledge, siphoning wisdom down, killing off the people that that still engage with uh, uh, the truth, which which is why uh, our our true, I mean everyone's our ancestors, but our true original ancestors. Uh, it's just this is just cycles upon cycles as well, people. So uh, the ones that still lived with the earth and in harmony with, with all of the forces and all of the elements. Those people were deemed, you know, uh, put whatever label on there that you want. Witch, terrorist, 
for, for nowadays terms. Uh, whatever the fuck term you want to use. And then you get enough people convinced that, oh, these people are bad. And then you get an army to believe in ideology. And then you get that army to do your bidding. You see, if you're still caught up in the number games, the numbers game, which this guy obviously is, if he's saying that, you know, 50,000 isn't enough or whatever, and that they're just they're just watching YouTube, nothing's happening. Well, well maybe for, for some of them, but... Also, the the idea is being implanted in their head, and their the seed is being planted. And uh, one person with an idea, with an image, with a clear image, one true human being is more powerful than every single army. Because they're able to think for themselves. They're able to create a reality with this imagery. They're able to know what it is to be a true human. And how powerful the image is. This is what is going to see us through uh, this... this what, what we're vastly approaching here. But, but what we're approaching is chaos, but... It's going to be instantly transformed into uh, and transmuted into uh, what's what's already been happening. So uh, it's going to be made uh, worldwide very clear uh, the movement that's already been happening. Which is just a remembrance of our true roots and what is actually real. So, scientism, the the ideology, the, the image, certain images are falling, and the people who are so uh, ingrained and, and caught up and, and, and dug in like a tick to these images, they will fight tooth and nail and put their lives behind these images and defending them. And uh, oftentimes they cannot see past the image of uh, what they had been led to believe. They can't see past into a new image. So this new image that is emerging it is one of self-sustainability. It is one where uh, people are remembering their true roots and they are uh, Bringing about children into this realm where certain planes of reality are being met, certain levels of love and integration are being met to where a true human being can have a full embodiment with, with all of the elements engaged. So they can come into a body. The spirit can come into a true fucking body. And then. The mentality. They are not limited. And this is already happening. So more and more people are going to be waking up to this. How. To be a shaman. How to be a parent. How to raise your child. And uh, how to allow your child to basically teach you what the fuck is up how to allow your child to show you the truth inside of you how to allow your child to help you transcend your barriers because we are uh, we are already in, in this age now where the children are going to be 
uh, teaching the the adults, the the adults, adults. I mean, I, I'm already witnessing very, very, very young children. I'm talking super young children, being vastly, vastly more intelligent than their parents. So, uh, the mentalities have to change. The imageries are changing. And, uh, the, the false image is, is falling. The, the system that was set up has been abandoned. And so, the people that, uh, have been left to, to think that they are in control are grasping at uh, this falling system and trying desperately to uh, call the awareness, C-U-L-L, the awareness in and, and try to re repeat this process, but they don't really understand themselves. How, how it has been repeating because the originators have abandoned it. Why? Because they have been shown what the fuck is up. Don't take my word for anything. You're, you're going to witness this shit for yourself. If you, if you aren't already. Which I know a lot of you already are witnessing it. And I know a lot of you are. Already um, transmuting it. And transmuting the darkness. Transmuting the corruption. So I'm just speaking to the choir here for, for most people, but uh, I, I said I'd watch this for, for ZigZag. Um, yeah, it's, it's just hard for me to listen to people that... that want to hold on to the angst so badly. Like they have embodied it, essentially. And I mean, if you want to make videos and talk about, you know, how, how dismal it is and, and be uh, basically like a Richie from Boston type of person, which, I mean, hey, I'm subscribed to that fucker. <laughs> like, uh, I listen to some of the things that he says, but uh, I mean, after a while, you just get, you know, it's almost like... Is, that, is this all you can talk about, dude? And it's, and it's just, after a while, you see this, the same shit over and over again. Which, same shit over and over again. So, I mean, if you can't figure it out, if you're getting frustrated because you can't figure it out, because it, because it looks, you know, so dark and, like, you can't find a way out. Well, like, dude, like, like I said in my last one, you, you gotta go within. Stop looking outside of yourself. I mean, and I love uh, what this guy had to say uh, with, with, uh, and as far as dreams and stuff with uh, Zigzag's video, their, their talk together. Uh, that's that's always awesome stuff to talk about, and to hear people actually engaging it and talking about it. That's encouraging. But at the same time, you know, uh, like like what, with what he said in his dreams, whenever he was presented with something that he didn't like, or, or something that seemed oppressive or evil or whatever, he uh, basically just just went crazy at it, went off at it, and and that's one way to keep it from you know scaring you but basically you're projecting your your fear you're projecting by by engaging the projection you are not uh, seeing something for what it truly is for what it truly is showing you about yourself so i mean this is this is uh if you want to watch you know uh 
case in point here of someone that is caught in the projection, then uh, I don't know. Maybe you'll get something from this guy. I I have uh, in the past, but uh, it, it's just you know. I don't know. The more you watch people, the more it becomes obvious what they're about, and uh, they're they're. Uh, their traps, uh, what they keep repeating, and uh, their barriers, what what they refuse to break. They refuse to go beyond a certain point because if they were to do that, then they would have to reevaluate their whole ideology of what they are, of uh, what what they have been so used to grabbing onto for so long, so tightly. And you can just hear it in the way someone speaks. The how they breathe. And how they are tightening their abdomen and their body with their words and their speaking. How they are caught in a certain mode. So yeah, like, I don't know, dude. I didn't think I was going to make this kind of video again, but, uh, yeah. I said I'd watch it, and I watched all I could of it. And, uh, I gave my two cents, which is just, uh, realize what reality is. So, I mean... Realize the power of the image, realize the power of your mind, and then start to see the collective, uh, what's, what is happening, what's been happening, see the repeated patterns throughout time. And yes, it's pretty obvious what we're going to be approaching, but if you can't tap into the love, then you really have no fucking idea what we're approaching. You're just tapped into, oh my god, it's all falling, and oh my god, everything's going to shit, which, which, that's not, that's not untrue at all. Like, that, that is happening, but you're not able to feel your way out of it. You're not able to really feel your way into it and integrate it and, uh, see the good that is also happening in, in the midst of, of this chaos if you can't see and feel that, then uh, the hope that you speak of is for yourself. There's no hope for you, bro. So yeah, that's that's about it for that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Once you start to really uh, integrate this uh, awareness and, and tap back into a deep love of all the way back into your origin point. You can start to feel the, the waves of uh, remembrance. It's a remembrance vibrations. And more and more of us are catching these waves. And we are, we are surfing them. <laughs> and uh, all this fucking fear porn shit. Like you get to a point where you're like. You're, just, you're so fucking done hearing it. That whenever you do it's like. I'm not going to waste my fucking time with this shit anymore. I've already transcended it. So, uh, yeah. And that's about it for that. So, uh, thank you for ZigZag for allowing me to have my last interaction with this guy, basically. Just because, I mean, I I've listened to him 
rant on and on long enough about about shit about the darkness and then not really transmuting enough so uh whenever i see that with someone then uh you know we we have to allow people to go their own way and to learn for themselves as well so i mean you know i, I wish the best for everyone and hopefully this guy finds his way and uh starts to starts to see the light within himself and so that he can see that in the outer projection and start to make the correlations and start to make the connections so yeah uh best wishes to you dude and uh just to everyone else keep doing your work your inner work your inner knowingness keep tapping into this awareness and and realization of what you truly are and feeling the good and engaging this that doesn't necessarily mean blocking out the darkness yes we have to see it for what it is but then we have to make the choice do we get caught and stuck in the mud stuck in the gunk and the goo or do we rise up out of it? Do we create a new image together? In harmony, in a balanced state. And yes, it is going to take work because of the system that has been set up. To, to slow down progress of things that, and peoples that seek this. But the pathways are opening. So the choice is yours to engage one side or the other or to balance both polarities into a center point. To be within the stillness and in the in the silence and in the eye of the hurricane and see clearly and feel purely where you need to be what you need to do peace